Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, every one of you wonderful people. God bless you. Once again, this is Elder R.L. Dunlap Jr., a servant of Jesus Christ. We greet you from God the Father and from His, from God the Father's Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. Now according to the book of 1 John, if you don't confess that, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, if you don't confess that, you are a liar, you do not have God. You denied Jesus Christ and his father. Anyway, anyway, we greet you today. Now, I want to answer a question that was asked of me yesterday. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I just met this person for the first time. I, I saw him from time by time, but I never met them personally. And they asked me, they say, Elder. When the next time you go, you go preach. They say how much they enjoyed the message, and I talk, you know, preach in the building. You know, I'm preaching right now. <laughs> and we converse about that. They say how much they enjoyed it. This is it. Then they asked me, say, well, what do you see for 2020? God showed you anything about 2020? You see anything about 2020? I said, no. No, I don't. What God going to do in 2020? The same thing he's doing right now. Uh, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. The, gla the grass withereth and the flower fades away. But the word of our God abides forever. No, he ain't show me number 2020. Well, did he tell you anything about me? No, he didn't tell me nothing about you. No, no, he didn't. He didn't tell me nothing about you. Or nobody else. Oh. Uh, and they went on tell me they they probably what they going through and I thought maybe he may have told you that my problem gonna be fixed. Well no, he ain't told he ain't told me nothing. He haven't told me nothing. Watch this. Why are you watch it? Why are you relying on somebody telling you something? Why are you relying on some prophet so-called telling you a lie? Why are you relying on your pastor telling you a lie? They lie, they lie, they lying. Let me say this. Every preacher that tell you what God going to do in 2020, that preacher is a bald faith liar. He's a liar. She's a liar. It's a liar. Uh -huh. Come, something he come and said. Well, the Lord told me that. And, you, and you're talking to everybody. You're a liar. God has showed you nothing for, nothing for 2020. Any preacher come telling you God said he's going to do this in 2020. That preacher is a liar. He a liar. Uh, I said he's a liar. God ain't showed nobody nothing for 2020. They lie and they tell you a lie. 
20, you know, they crank it up. Uh, 2020 vision. 20, what happened? What happened? What happened in uh, 2019, devil? Remember the lies you told gonna happen in 2019? And remember the lies you told gonna happen in 2018 and 17 and 16 and 15 and 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Y, 2, K. Remember you said what was going to happen? You lied. And you still lie. God has shown you nothing. God has told you nothing going to happen in 2020. You are a lying one. Greater than that. Let, let, let's give some sound doctrine. Why you relying on somebody telling you something? Why you base your life on what somebody telling you? How come you ain't basing your life on your faith in Jesus Christ? The new life. The new birth. Walking by faith and not by sight. You know what that means? That's talking about you going to leave here one day. And when you leave here, you want to see Jesus. You want to go to heaven when you die. Uh, that's what they're talking about. The whole earth growing. In travail. Actually awake. That's what they're talking about. How, how about living? How about, how about walking by faith and not by sight? How about walking out of the spirit and not out of the flesh? <laughs> <laughs> how about how about you get right with God? I God, hallelujah. Why are you why are you basing your life on when you can't live with something unless somebody tell you something? Hey, ooh, ooh, watch it. God be God be good. The Bible says in Matthew chapter five. God is good to the evil and the good. God is kind to evil and the good. Say that, Silla. God fearing no, God fearing. God good to it. Watch it. You, you, you have a word of wisdom here now. And knowledge. Who brought you? Who brought you all the way? Some of y'all 50 years old, 20 years old, 30, 70. 80, 100, 40. Who brought you all the way from birth up until now? Who brought you? Ah, uh, God. Who brought you? You didn't have nobody. Come here, come here. None of y'all had nobody tell y'all what's going to happen throughout your whole life. None of y'all. I said not a one of y'all. But God was good to you. Say that, Ancilla. If they don't buy a promise, I nothing to you. Why are you base your life on what somebody come and say about you? And I told him, told the individual, I, 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 I said, I, I said, no, no matter what we go through in life, whatever our desires is, whatever we want from God, whatever we need from God, I don't care what year it is or what season it is, you can go to God. Through Jesus Christ and ask the Father and pray and believe and keep believing and he will supply your needs. <coughs> and other things that you uh that you desire, you pray if if if, if he if, if, if he chooses to give it to you, he'll give it to you. <coughs> if he chooses to do it, he'll do it. Have faith in God. Now you can have faith in God if you deny his son. Jesus Christ. Why are you waiting on somebody to tell you something? Who brought you up until now without nobody saying nothing to you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, the song says, I don't know. What I do without the law, I don't know what I do without the law. When I look 
around and see what the Lord have done for me. I don't know what I do without the Lord. You breathe to God's breath. And he brought you up, up until now. He been good to you. I don't care whether you're a saint or a sinner. Up until now, he been good to you. Ain't nobody told you nothing. Ain't nobody prophesied nothing to you. But God been good to you. Hallelujah. Why are you basing your life on somebody telling you something? You can go to God for whatever you whatever you want, whatever you need. Go to God. Believe Him. Ask Him in the name of His Son Jesus Christ. Ask Him. Have faith in Him. He'll supply your needs. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Praise God. Praise God. Why are you basing your life on somebody telling you something for 2020? What you waiting on somebody to tell you something for? God already told, God already showed you something that he's good to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. What, and I will tell what's going to happen in 2020. The same thing happened in 2019. Yeah, I'm sure some things that we are, that's unexpected going to happen. Same thing happen every year. But no matter the year, you have a Savior. The Son Jesus Christ lived. Because he lived, I can face tomorrow. Because he lived, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds my future. And my life is worth living. Because Jesus lived. I can call him when I need him. I can go to God in prayer. <laughs> tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. <laughs> tell him all about it. He'll hear your cry. Did poor man cry that the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his trouble? No, sir, yeah. Them suits him. And let me say this. People who have the devil spirit, divination spirit, they track record better than you lying preacher. That good had that divination spirit. She would tell the people fortune. And they were true. If catch Paul catch that devil out of her, she could tell her that. The folk with the real devil's divination spirit, they track record better, better than y'all preacher. And they are the devil. Anyway, that's enough of that. Why you basing your life on somebody telling you something? Somebody prophesying something to you? Jesus lived. You ain't got to wait on no prophet. Jesus lived. Go to Jesus yourself. God bless you.